go to golang.org slash dl then based on your operating system you have to download uh, go file from installation file from this uh, page so I am using Linux machine so I have to download go.1.13 Linux AMD64 tar.gsp tar file let me copy the link then using this uh, wget command we can download this uh, tar.gz file in our terminal I mean using terminal you can download into your system then we need to extract that file so for that we can run we can use this command tar hyphen x is at f then name of tar.gz file you can see the extracted folder go so next we need to change the uh, user and group ownership of that go folder so right now this is a user and group let me change it to root for that we can use this command ch on hyphen r root colon root you can see user and group ownership has changed then, then we need to move this uh, go folder to usr local slash usr slash local okay so done now after that we need to uh, set path environment variable then export it so for that you have to open dot bash rc file from your home directory just run bin slash dot bash rc then in the go to the bottom there just add uh, these two lines basically here i am exporting go path and path go path uh, you can use if you are working on some go project like project path you have to set it in the go path and in the path environment variable you have to specify the location where your go binary is located so that is slash usr slash local go bin okay then after that we can save this file then uh, source it you can use source dot bash rc or dot dot bash rc then just run go version so if it's printing the version that means it's working so this way we can install golang from tar.gz file just download it extract it change the user and group ownership then copy to the user local folder then set the path environment variable that's all so i hope you enjoy this video Please subscribe my channel please like and share like and share the video so if you run which go you will be able to see the location of binary see okay let me print go path you can see the go path is your slash from your end user go so that is my project folder so if it's not assist you have to create it then you can start coding you can put your go files in that folder